Hey YouTube, it's your girl Maj, and I'm back again with another video. If you are OG, I mean like real OG, you know this spot in my house. It's been a little minute since I did a sit down video right here. But in today's video, we're going to do a five to five to six month um, pregnancy update. Now, this is real life. This is raw. Not quite six months yet. Um, but ouch. Just got these done. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm not quite six months yet, but you, you get what I mean. This is just going to be a roundup because I'm going into the sixth month of my pregnancy. And y'all, do y'all know how hard it is to put on socks and shoes when you got a stomach in the way? Y'all, let me show y'all how I do it. Watch, I'm going to show y'all. This is how I got to do it, right? Let me see. Hold on. I got to lift my leg up <laughs> like this, right? And hope I can get it on without falling because doing it any other way just don't work. Doing it sitting down, I got to like put my, um, I gotta put my leg like this, like that's that's if I can get it, and if I'm not sitting too low, that's the first update I want to get to y'all because y'all I had a hard time, I have a hard time, I'm out of breath just doing that. I have such a hard time just putting socks and sneakers on, and I still got four months to go, and my son's only gonna get bigger. Um, secondly, what else? This is, um, it's not, I just, I just turned the camera on, so this is not, a. I didn't practice anything, so you're about to get it how it is, but the second thing is, what else? Okay, it's now I'm to the point of, I really can't fit any of my clothes, like it's actually really hard now. Even at six months, five to six months now, I need more clothes. I need a new coat. I need new everything. And like I said, let me show y'all my belly. Okay, look, even this jacket is, if it wasn't for these tights, my stomach would be out, but I have a shirt under it. So, let me show you my belly now. Hold on, let's see. This is my belly now, all right? So everything, all my, I can't zip my pants up. It stopped like right here. If I have on tights and stuff, oh my God. I have to put on a lot of cream and Vaseline and like just moisturizer just to wear certain clothes because it my stomach will be so itchy. Now, my stomach does as far as the itchiness when I don't have anything on my stomach besides like a regular shirt, I'm fine. I don't itch as bad, but like tights, certain tights is oh, I have to put on so much moisturizer before putting it over my stomach and certain shirts like. I wouldn't. I want. I don't know if it's cotton shirts. It's just certain shirts make my belly extremely itchy. Then um, I'm trying to get it out my face, y'all. But I just got it done, and y'all know how the Africans are. And I can't put this up yet. Mm -mm. I'm not about to pull my edges out. But uh, what's up, Eli? You're fine. <laughs> but um, another thing is, um, what about I say? My brother threw me off. I lost my train of thought. Yeah, just certain clothes is really hard to wear. Oh, if I sit too low, if I bend down too low, or if I sit down on a, in a low area, like a low couch or a low chair or something, and I get up too fast, 
Yo, my stomach be cramping at the bottom. Like, the bottom of my stomach be cramping. Like, I'm like, wow. Now I get to the point where I really can't do certain things. I'm, like, barely showing. But I'm like, just because I ain't showing don't mean I'm not pregnant, y'all. Because your girl still can't do certain stuff. So, I don't know. Everything has just become limited in a way, you know. Uh, I'm still drinking my water um lately i have been um like i do pretty good as far as what i eat and stuff but lately since the holiday passed and happy new year because this is probably when i post it i don't know if i'm gonna post this before new year's or after new year's but yeah happy new year's if i if you see this later but um i eat pretty well um but uh uh, it's like I haven't slacking a little bit so when I do slack and eat certain things I shouldn't be eating or too much or something I just drink a lot of water to try to flush it out and then as far as my son um, I'll give y'all a name reveal in another video but as far as my little hitter um, okay so TMI you ready you ready so my placenta is in the front of my stomach, meaning I have an interior placenta. So basically, I'm gonna break that down. It's like a pillow is in front of my baby. So when he kicks, when he punches, when he does all the things he do, he's always hitting the pillow so I don't feel it. But if he moves like side to side or maybe trying to, because he's very active. Trust me, I had an ultrasound, um, and he's very active. So he definitely is up in there doing his thing. It's just mommy can't feel it yet because I have a pillow blocking him, blocking all the kicks and stuff. But when he moves, like, I guess in, in my head, I'm thinking maybe he's, like, moving side to side or, like, just simply moving over or stuff like that. I feel that. Now, that feels weird, y'all. I'm not going to lie. It's a great feeling. It's a reassurance for me, but it feels a little weird because it's basically he's pressing against my stomach. Not just kicking, like not no quick. And then, you know, little movie, and you don't feel it no more. It's like I literally feel him pressing against my stomach. Can't see it, but I feel it. Cause he's still smaller he's still even though i'm six months almost six months he's still small so i can't see it but i definitely feel it so it's a good feeling at least i can feel when he moves because at first i was like dang i can't feel none of his kicks yet and i was like no but don't worry your son gonna get stronger and he's gonna be growing so you'll be able to feel all that and quite frankly all my friends that are pregnant tell me it is all right because you don't want to feel certain kicks anyway because it hurt so yeah that's uh pretty much it it's just clothes is a big issue now bending down is an issue now you know i feel him now um hunger is still a big thing this boy eats oh and his favorite um his favorite drink slash food are naked so i'm actually about to go to walmart right after this video and I plan on buying some but I'm not gonna buy a whole bunch because nakeds have a lot of sugar oh my god even if you're not pregnant naked has so much sugar so I really right now I only drink three a week like three out the week three days like three days on and then three days off, or I'll just have three out the week. I don't do no more than three because that is a lot of sugar for one person. So it's definitely a lot of sugar for a baby. And then other days, I'm still drinking my water. It doesn't stop me from drinking my water. But yes, he definitely moves when I drink those. He likes those. I actually did. I was actually drinking one during the ultrasound. And he was moving so much. And the lady was like, ma'am, your son likes these. And I was eating um, a big Texas toast uh, from Ducky Donuts. And he likes that as well. But I think he just likes food in general, like everybody. But the drink, for sure, he definitely moves when I drink those. And shoot, if he's moving off of sugar like that, whew, 
Jesus. So yeah, I only drank three, but it, they're really beneficial as far as make sure he gets his nutrients and but other than prenatals and um, his fruits and you know bananas. I'm gonna try the veggie one next, the green machine. I think that's what it's called. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, because I don't. He really needs veggies. I need to make sure he gets his veggies. But yes, y'all, um, that's pretty much it. That pretty much wraps up the video of my five to six month update. Like I said, only five to six months. So it's not going to be like a drastic thing compared to my seven or eight months. So I will see you guys in another video. It's your girl, Munch, and I'm out. Deuces. For all my new mommies and mommies, period. Don't forget to drink your water. Bye, y'all.